Hey there, it's Mark. Long time no talk to. Well, unless you tune in to Race Grooves Gaming. Yeah, I've been growing my uh, gaming channel. This is where I play my PlayStation. Uh, this video is going to be out with the old. In with the new. I'll have to show what I've been picking up. Uh, I don't know, over a little while. Oh yeah, in case you see this acrylic thing in the corner of the video. Because I might have this here and then you see this right here. In case you're wondering what that is. It's a little acrylic and it goes over my laptop so this way I don't keep stuff on here I have stuff right here right now just because I'm I cleared my spot it's mainly so the cats don't walk on my keyboard when I am trying to uh, you know I'm editing a video and next thing you know they're stepping on the keyboard and then it's like I don't know if they made any changes to the editing program when I'm making the video I had to had to stop that I had to keep them off the keyboard so let's get this real quick uh, am I zoomed in just a little bit you can see the stack. Uh, this video, I'm getting rid of these 2001 first editions. All of these are first editions from 2001. This is Mo Scoot. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't. I don't know if we've seen it in a while. I don't know. Maybe the last appearance was in a five pack or something. There is a variation to where see the Hot Wheels logo. There were some that had like a raised a raised piece of plastic, right? When it was tooled. That part was raised, I believe, and they got rid of that. So maybe they maybe they got rid of it because it was too hard to tampo right on that raised part. This way they just made it flat, and it's really easy for them to make that tampo. I was looking at the wheels, kind of cool wheels. I wonder if somebody would take a couple of these, and mm, that's probably too small, but make like a bone shaker or something uh, with these wheels, have wild graphics on it. Uh, I know the big wheels would look great in the back, those might be too small for the front uh, for the front and in case you're wondering this is what the card back looked like for the 2001 first editions it's pretty cool back then look they gave us a list they gave us a list of uh, some of the cars that were coming up 2001 first editions and they had a little checklist so this way you knew what you can find this year 36 models I have 30 of them so you're gonna get to check them out um, feel free to comment about your favorites or hey I remember that this one right here this is super tuned mm, I don't know if this one got a different name I'm not sure one thing is that people thought this was an error because it was backwards no that's just the style that's just the style that they did for the uh, models at the time and they all had this car on the on package not like nowadays where they put a picture of the car right here uh, I forgot the name of that card. Uh, I don't think it's here, is it? No, I don't see it. This one right here, Fright Bike. This is pretty cool. It has a wheelie bar. You see this? It's hooked up right now. Sometimes you might see these to where it's loose in the package. It's not hooked on. You just pop it on there. No big deal. It has this huge wheelie bar that you pop on. So they, so it's like this, this long when you have it uh, flipped out. Translucent body. It was all right. I picked up a few colors. I do not believe that I picked up all of the colors, just because I, I for motorcycles, I don't necessarily need every color of every motorcycle. I just like uh, to get at least uh, a few colors of each casting. Here we have Riley and Scott MK3. Let you have a look at that. I don't have a whole lot to add about the uh, casting itself. Plastic base. Most cars had plastic bases by this time. Uh, I do like the lace wheels though. There's a similar model. Lace wheels again. You have the Cadillac LMP. Single driver. Center of the car. Oh, where's this one here? Yeah, single driver. Middle of the car. This way you can drive in Europe or in the US. It doesn't have left or right hand steer. Whoa! I have another car similar to this, uh, in this in that style. This one right here will be coming up. Here you have the Cunningham C Cunningham C four R. This is a decent downhill racing if you like to do downhill racing. Just kind of a standard shape, and it has decent enough weight. Here you go, a little something for the tuner crowd. Ford Focus. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a track car. 
Look at that super wide body. Has the Meguiar's decorations. Let's see if we can get closer. I say decorations. Oh, we got a cat here. <laughs> Anyways, five holes, five dot wheels. Love those wheels. And another reason this one wouldn't be good on the downhill. White fenders. It might not even fit on the track. I don't know. But uh, when, when they're inset in the fenders, this is kind of skinny. So um, it might wiggle when it's going down the track. Lotus M250. I like this car. Very, very cool. Nice stylistic look. Well, they put the Hot Wheels logo in the back. Uh, so you have a tempo in the back, and then you have a tempo in the middle right there. And those look like uh, the plastic. Uh, these are plastic from the window. Uh, I like when they do that. It's a little added something bit special, right? Instead of them just printing the instead of them just printing the headlights. Ah, this one, <laughs> Outsider. Uh, it's kind of a cool casting, you know. It has these two drivers, two riders, I should say. Uh, one driver, and this guy's for balance of the, the vehicle. It's for uh, racing. And this was this was not a popular seller. Metal base, metal body. Uh, I wound up with, I wind up with quite a few of these uh, back in the day. Toyota Celica, there you go, another JDM model. This is during the time when they had the spoiler. Could be a separate piece. I'm looking at this one. Big separate uh, spoiler there. Let's see. But this one, yeah, that looks like a plastic spoiler edition. Uh, but I don't think they're all going to have... When it's a separate color, then you definitely know it's a separate piece. This one, it's yellow. It is a separate piece, though. This one, again, it does have the windshield com coming up to be the headlights. It's all part of the same piece. Okay, how about some American? Here you have the Dodge Viper GTSR. Very nice. This is more in my style. The spoiler in the back is part of the body. It's all metal. Plastic base, though. I have to remember to have the next car right here so the focus doesn't get blurry. MST Suzuka. Um, this car here, uh, if that's the car I'm thinking of, it was out during the same era when this first came out. Uh, around this time. But anyways, these are all first editions. 2011, 2001 first editions. Meaning it was the first year they were released. Uh, these might not be the very first color. I don't know if they had, re I don't remember off the top of my head if they had recolors this year. More than likely they did. And here we have the old number, is it five or three? Old number three. Old number five is a uh, fire truck. Matter of fact, I can look on the back. Old number three. Kind of a uh, 30s style racer, I think. Just kind of. Hey, it's got a skinny wheel on the back. Spare, why do you have a spare tire that doesn't go with these tires? I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to match. Metal base, metal body. With well, it being a small model, you know, they could afford that. But, but nowadays, it doesn't matter. It seems like uh, nothing has metal body, metal base. Not in the basics, the $1.9. $1 in the U.S. price. Hooligan. Custom car. Montezuma, very cool. You know, they don't have it. I'm playing Hot Wheels Unleashed. Uh, I don't think they have any low riders. If they did pop one in the game, I would not be surprised if it was a Montezuma because it is their own casting. Uh, it is their own design. This way they don't have to pay any licensing rights. They just added three new cars to, uh, this morning, as a matter of fact. Here we have Panos LMP1 Roadster S. This one is to the left. It's not in the center. A matter of fact, it's a uh, two. It's hard to see. It is a two-seater. Can't get a light to angle in there. Number eleven. Definitely low profile. That is a uh, separate piece for the spoiler. I don't think it's part of the base. Might be. It might be part of the base. 
That's, that doesn't happen very often to where that's all one piece. The uh, base swinging around and being in a, a big spoiler, a big wing in the back like that. Uh, not going to do the loops. And no, they did not have that uh, flippability back then. That's a rather new feature. Hey, here's a track car, Vulture Roadster. This car might have been in video games. Uh, I'm not sure. If you know, let me know what video game they included this in. During this era, I, w I was focusing on collecting Hot Wheels. I was not playing video games. I might have bought my son a video game and I might not have played it. Oh, I to check out La Troca. Uh, because the games were just not my style uh, when they came out. You know, you jump through the air, do spins, do flips. Mm, it's just not my style. Maybe it is now when I get back into it. And La Troca has been changed. See, when it was first edition, first added as a first edition they used to have this thing right here they've changed this in the most recent release as it came back and it does not have that sun visor very very nice so be because it doesn't have that visor i think it was like a black or gold one recently i let it go i seen it i let it go shredster i mean i have plenty of the other one shredster check it out uh on the bottom the reason i'm showing this is because uh, this is like huge fenders and then they, so this was Shredster and then they came out with another model called Shredded and it was just the center part. Uh, all the shallow part was not included. Uh, so it's kind of like in the style of a torpedo. Uh, pretty good downhill racer. Pretty good in the boosters, loops and curves. Here you go. Back to some American. Here you have the 1971 Plymouth GTX. Just Nothing, no silly graphics, just regular official looking class uh, graphics. By the way, if you're wondering where the cats are, the cats are still here, as you can tell, because uh, I get some hair here and there. Uh, they just got their lunch, so they just went to take a nap. So, f no, I almost said so fine. So fast. And this casting has been changed as well. It used to have this part where you can open it up and then you can see the engine has a little hatch. I think it opens from the back. I think it opens this way. So anyways, uh, no more opening features on this model when it gets released. Maelstrom. Yeah, this gets included in like track sets pretty often during that era. It's not actually a very good track car. It's okay, but it's just not uh, excellent. A lot of, there, there's a lot of fans for Maelstrom. Uh, this might have been in a video game as well. Maybe that's why it has a lot of fans. So I have enough colors that I like. Don't necessarily pick up uh, any more. I have a lot of them. Anyways, <laughs> I was collecting heavily back in the day, back during this time. Evil Twin. This is definitely a Larry Wood classic casting. I started collecting in 1998, for those who don't know. And so for the first few years, you probably collect more than you do... Uh, later on in your collecting career, so to speak. Plastic base, cat hair, little fuzz. Sometimes you, uh, I cleaned all this up and then the cat hair, it's a plastic blisters. It's just like a magnet for cat hair. Oh, I love this car. This is one that I will, I will buy new colors. Ford Thunderbolt. Look at that stance. I like it. Has a big cowl on the hood. I believe that's what it's called. I did not notice this before. I'm selling this lot on eBay, by the way. I'm going to try to remember to mention this. But yeah, these will all be in one lot. I'm not selling the cars one by one. As a matter of fact, I don't mind talking about selling stuff on Mr. Grooves because it's a collector channel. On Race Grooves, uh, didn't like to talk about selling cars. Because really, back, in, back during uh, my heyday, it wasn't selling cars, just collecting. Now, of course, I have a lot of subscribers and I could probably do better uh, selling the cars by promoting it on, I didn't even say the name, Jet Threat 3.0. Great track car. This was in uh, a starter set, as a matter of fact. Metal base, metal body. So, you know, I could promote my auctions more by putting them on race screws, but really, race screws was. It's just, it's intended for a different audience. 
I want people to enjoy collecting, just having fun with their cars on race grooves. And uh, I don't want to talk about selling because too many, too many people get into the hobby just to buy, sell, buy and sell the profiteer. Mm -hmm. So that's why I keep it off of there. And you see the headlights. That's the same piece. Here you go. Morris Wagon. Somebody posted a picture of this on a, on a forum recently. I don't remember which one. It's all right. Not a big fan of it. Definitely have a few colors. Fandango. I'm a fan of Fandango. I like Van, so that's why I probably like it. Love the color. It's just a... You can't miss it. This nice pearlescent orange. Oh yeah, that's that's something else that they're changing on these cars. Uh, plastic base. This was changed. I did a video on this, Mr. Grooves tour. Now I think I think the bottom half of the car is plastic. If I remember, I'll put a link at the end of the video or in the description if you didn't see my casting change for Surf and School Bus, or maybe I put it in a. Uh, Included it in a video with other cars. I have to look for that. And, oh yeah, Crazy 8s. Crazy 8s. Definitely was in, uh, was it, I'm pretty sure it was in games, but it was in Highway 35. This was one of the team leaders. I want to say Banshee, but I might be wrong. I'm sure you'll tell me if I'm wrong. Or maybe not. People don't comment so much anymore, which is fine. Because I just like to watch videos myself too, which is fine because I just like to sit and watch videos too. I don't necessarily comment all the time. My eBay link will be in the description below. I'll leave a link for this lot as well. Please note that I only ship to USA destinations. I only ship to uh, the United States. I do not ship internationally. This lot is packed and ready to go. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.